anyone new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well as hit that notification. You already know notification gang. Let's get it. No, it's levels to it. You and I know, bitch, be humble. Hold up, bitch. Sit down. Hold up, hold up, sit down. What is going on YouTube, your boy Thinkju, we're back with another video now, shout out to my boys for linking me this in the DMs, but also shout out to the subs and shout out to my cousin who also linked me this, it's a two minute video of LeVar Ball going back and forth, I, if I'm not mistaken with Christine Lie, I, please forgive me for saying her name wrong, but they were on the Coward, the, the Colin Coward um, show, and supposedly she had some comments to say about his family last week, she also said some stuff this week or today, in regards to him being of, of a father figure and says shit like stay in his lane and just you know talking about his whole shoe brand with the whole women's situation and supposedly he said like a comment so we're gonna actually watch this right here what happened real quick it may not be as broad but i'm also gonna read off some articles that i've gotten as well because i want to see what the hell is going on here and whether or not this chick is qualified to even be talking out of ass because as far as i'm concerned they're trying to make it seem like lavar ball came out his face randomly on his own but it seems like there was another video that came out showing why did this happen why did this occur so i actually want to go ahead and check this out links to everything will be in the description below if you are new subscribe if you want to give your input just comment below i'll definitely check you out and respond so so as my boy trey just um dm me with this video this is like the first occurrence of what happened the first incident so we're definitely going to watch this one right here they're being forced to do it they're being told you will start basketball at age six like lonzo told us and whenever you asked him a question i think he said what five words and he looks terrified well i don't think lavar would let him do that <laughs> i honestly think lavar will have to approve of any girl that comes into his life yeah i, I sold a, a good amount to me so how many i just want to go back to that yo she got some nerve what did you do when even commenting on his family like on the personal level I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. LeVar has spoken, said things about other players' kids. Yeah, but like, who is she? Because maybe you guys can educate me, please. Maybe, I don't know. I don't want to sound like I know who she is. Educate me on who she is, because the way it makes it seem like she's really trying to get some headlines and shit, even as my boys even said, that's crazy as fuck. Stay in your lane. Wait, Anyways, what, I can't wait, I'm, like just, I I'm, I'm just curious. I don't even worry about her over there. Like, Every why time not? she scares I think that's me to kind death. Of disrespectful. She says she's like, now. I'm just trying. I'm, I'm, Leave me alone. What's, I'm talking I, what is, to you, Callie. Well, what's your what is your what problem with about? me? Hey, my problem is you. Are hold on, hold on, hold on. She's that sounds like she's trying to play victim, y'all. People do this, not women. We're not gonna just sit here and say just women. People do that. They say goofy ass shit as what you just saw before and now act like they the victim. Please drop this shit in the comments below if this ever happened to you. Somebody's talking out they ass or just going off of assumptions, just assuming the most or just stereotyping, all that shit. But they expecting a response out of you. That's what she's doing. She said most of this because she knows he's going to say something. She wants the headlines. She wants to get them views. She wants the clicks. She wants the audience. Because he doesn't want to give it that time of day. Now she's trying to play victim. Like, why not? Why not, aren't you going to respond? I hate people like that, yo. Why I would never her? wear a big baller shirt. Yeah, with with I, all due respect, I, you're a great reporter. Just not reporting on me. I didn't say it was offensive. Yeah. I just said, you know, if you want to, you know, work with Nike, Adidas, and Under Armour uh, to maybe have something that appeals to women. I'm not friends with her. I don't, I don't know. To be honest with you, whether or not the argument is that Nike, Adidas, and all of them, he wants $3 billion if they're trying to sign him. Okay, I understand that. But you know damn well she doesn't give a fuck about the sneaker and gives a shit if they were to come out for women. But because she is a female in her position, position, excuse me, she can go ahead and plead that argument and make it seem like she's really feeling some type of way about it and trying to defend all women. She don't give a fucking rat ass about Lonzo Ball sneakers. Because had he announced that they were coming out for women too, she wouldn't have been saying that. She would have been trying to reach for something else, probably like the price. Come on, man. Don't miss me with that shit, man. People do that shit all the time. See, no, I don't even see it. I, I don't want to talk about all that. Next. Well, you're going to have to have women who like your brand. Uh, you know, the, yeah, if you have a women's company. They wouldn't want to work with you anyway because you don't respect women. Whoa, what the fuck? All right. And, and by all means, this ain't just me talking about women. Let me make that straight. But he, I think we all assume that the ZO2s and just Lonzo Ball, everything he's doing is for men. I don't know if there are LeBron women's sneakers. If there are, I don't know. I don't know about that. But as far as I'm concerned, there are players in the league with sneakers, and I've never heard of the women versions of them. I know Jordan has like the little women with the pink and stuff like that. But as far as certain athletes, certain apparel, I've never heard that certain brands also have a woman version. And if that's the case, I've never even heard a statement or an argument. 
But I believe it's because LeVar Ball became a huge celebrity. He says a lot of crazy shit. He wants to pick at him in situations where you're like, yo, listen, you're not going to win this because I have no answer for that. I'm a man brand. Like, I may, we're trying to promote brands and clothing for men so that we assume we already knew of this, right? In fact, I never even heard people argue, why don't phone posits come out for women? You know what I'm saying? Like, because I know they make kids now, but I never heard the argument of people trying to go all out, why don't they make phone posits for kids? I mean, for women. Like, she's reaching when clearly she don't give a fuck. Come on, man. Let's be serious. And she said, oh, women wouldn't buy your shit because of so-and-so. Now, don't get me wrong. If she would have made the suggestion, hey, man, I think women would like your shoe. You should definitely try to see one day in the future you can make these sneakers for women. That's different. But she attacked him on a different end of the of the spectrum and try to make it seem like he's full of himself and try to disrespect the whole family portion of everything and try to make it seem now she's trying to change the argument around and trying to play victim like LeVar Ball is just now down talking women and trying to make it seem like, oh my God, all I wanted to know is like, you should make things for women. He's just shutting us down. I hate that shit about people because they use their own agenda to defend themselves and play victim. That's bullshit. So... She's she's after you today. Oh, I don't respect not, women, I'm but just, I'm the one that's married. I'm I'm good. Well, she can say what she want. On you the act, show today. If you act like that, guess what? Something's coming to you. Thanks. Are you wait? Are you threatening me? Oh, see how she tried to turn the words. I would never threaten you. You said something's coming to me. I don't know what it is. I'm not a psychic. His son looks like a robot, and his father looks like the total man in the family. I'm 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 out on Lavar Ball. I, I think he's a problem for this kid. I hate to be that guy to say it. But, and I'm gonna put myself in this category because I'm a minority, right? Why do, I'm not gonna say black people don't like to see people strive. I'm gonna say minorities because this happens to Hispanic too and other minorities in, in the culture. Why the fuck do you not try to push and promote the minority, like success of minorities? Why do you not strive and want to see other minorities succeed? It blows my fucking mind how this shit is coming about. He said Lonzo's like a robot. I did say in the beginning that I feel like Lonzo should speak up more. But clear as day, Lonzo was fucking 19 years old. His father's been raising him as a kid. His father has every right. He's been in his life, his whole life. He didn't just come out of nowhere because his son made it to um to, to the NBA. He's making it to the NBA. Now he wants to just show up. No, he's been a part of his life this whole time. He's trying to set him up for the future with the brand. So that means this guy saying that he's a robot also leading to the fact, oh, he doesn't make his own decisions, whatever he wants to say. That means he's okay with Nike and all these other brands raping these dudes. Well, let me not say raping these dudes, but g these people out of their money and contracts. So that means he's okay with that. But when you have one group of people, one specific person trying to reach out of that box and trying to do something of their own for the first time ever because no one ever said something couldn't be done, now that's a problem. He doesn't like his approach on it. He doesn't agree with it. You missed me with that shit, bro. You got me fucked up. And it seems like he's just daddy's little boy, uh, a, a little robot who's completely controlled by his father. Like I said, and going back to Whitlock, I don't think he can comment on anything but snacks. I was on, I'm not saying I'm not on his side anymore, but I don't agree you go that, you don't, you don't do low blows like that. I don't agree that you, you go that route and you kind of throw that type of shot back at somebody. Like I said, when you're defending yourself, I think if you keep yourself professional um, and you hold the composure and you're just answering back as to like with all the haters, it, it, it sort of looks like it affects you in a way because had it not been, you would give a different answer. Yeah, that was kind of lame. I ain't gonna hold you up. You shouldn't have answered that way because that just makes you look bad as a person. Harsh. It's gonna be harsh because he want to be harsh so on me. So you disrespect Guess what? women a, and people uh, for their no, weight? No, that's what you say. I didn't say nothing about no No, weight. you just said that to me. Like I told him, I'm not even worried about you right now. Keep in your lane. You now, I don't agree with the fact that he made that comment on a snack shit. But aside from that, this whole argument was a reach. Christine definitely reached for the stars. This was going to definitely get views and audience and clicks on the site, on YouTube and everything. And especially she's trying to paint a different type of picture. Because there's one argument saying that he forces his kids to do this shit. He don't let his kids do make his own decisions. But he made it quite clear. Even his ch kids made it quite clear that they don't mind. And that's their father. They've been in their lives since day one. They always been. A, he's been a huge supporter of their lives and what they and what the choices they wanted to make in their lives. But she tried to paint this whole different picture. It came around the corner with this feminist shit because that's what it seems like. It tried to make it seem like, oh, you don't want to cater to women now. You have something against women. And because he says things that seem too seem a little bit broad, she's able to attack that and make it seem like he has something against women but he's like listen i'm not here to cater to women let that be a woman brand let them do that on their own i'm here to cater to big baller brand big baller brand is going to cater to who we aiming for which is men of course we know that already that's always been the case 
but she reached in with this argument trying to make it seem bigger than what it is like as if he always discriminated women so i think that's so reachable that's such a force now with this whole situation which is pretty stupid as fuck there all these media outlets are gonna reach and they're gonna make it seem or just for the clicks and views of the website like oh does lavar ball have something against women that's never been the case let it stay on the same topic as far as you know how he treats his kids or whatever all right i give you that we can argue back and forth if you're trying to get off that but that's so that's such a reach she reaching for the stars with this one, trying to bring it up like as if women always been a thing. And, you know, nobody wants to buy your brand anyway because of, you know, the fact that you're against women. Actually, no. If Lonzo's cooking, if Lonzo's cooking, these brands don't give a fuck. They're all about the money. Now, don't get me wrong. If there's uh, if there's sexual harassment involved, if any kind of case like that, oh, of course they're going to back off. But if he doesn't want to cater to women, these brands ain't going to stop from because of that. They'll still offer you money. So she's reaching regardless. I was against a lot of, uh, of what LeVar would say because sometimes he says crazy shit. And I still do. I still believe he says a lot of reachable shit too. But this was such a force. Like this was bullshit. But it's your boy 3MG. Comment, rate, subscribe. Hit that notification button. And hit that like button. I'm out. Peace.